Hi, my name is Heidi Swap, and I'm here at scrapbook.com. And, you know, Merry Christmas. I'm here to share my holiday collection and a very special, unique part of the holiday collection, which is this kind of fun, it's a really homey, comfortable feeling album. It's fabric covered. And that's kind of made so that you can do some embroidery stitching on the front. Uh, but on the inside, it's enough pages to count you from 24 days down until Christmas. And the way it comes, let, let me show you how it comes. Because what I've done is I've totally built this out so that when the holiday comes, I'm ready to just stick my photos in. So I'm going to start by showing you out what comes in the kit, and then I'm going to actually walk you through my entire album and show you how I made mine. So when you buy the album, you actually get a book cover that is fabric. Then you get the book insert that is has this fun kind of rigid front cover and then a vellum sheet and then just white paper, right? Just ready for you to fill it with whatever holiday or whatever memories you like. So it also comes with a template that allows you to, to uh, embroider like a little Christmas tree on the front. And it comes with the embroidery floss to facilitate that process, right? Um, so what I'm gonna show you just really quick is kind of how I went a little rogue, like I always do. So I just stitched this simple little tree with simple little backstitch lettering. And I'm just gonna kind of show you how that works. So I went ahead by marking right there on the cover, the triangle shape and kind of kind of light, but dark enough so that you can see it. And then I also just kind of marked in the word Mary. I started in the middle and just made a real simple all caps Mary. All right, we're gonna start out with this little tree. And I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna pop up at the top. Come down to the bottom. To get back across, we're actually gonna pop up just a little bit above that bottom line and go all the way straight across, almost to your line and down. Now I'm gonna go back into the corner, making the base. And come up just above that line that I went across. To make the star, I really just made three stitches that crossed each other in the center. So it's super easy. So kind of start on one of the corners and make that first stitch about as long as, as, long as you want the star to be wide. Once you then make your next stitch to basically be an X. And then your last stitch will just cross over the top. All 
All right, to do the word Mary, I'm just gonna do a simple back stitch right along the lines that I've kind of penciled in there. So it just takes a minute and you'd be surprised how relaxing it is to kind of play with a little needle and thread. Okay, so once you have your stitching done, you're gonna tuck this little album right into the pockets of the cover. And it's nice and snug so that it holds that embroidery pattern nice and tight. So I'm gonna walk you through this entire book showing you exactly how I made mine. And hopefully that will inspire you in your own creation. One of the things that I love about this stamp set is this little teeny days and tell, and then you've got all the numbers. That way you can totally count down on every single page of this book, the days and tell. And so I kind of do like a little combination. I switch up the colors um, as I count it down. So this one, I'm gonna just do black on the, on the base and then red on the numbers. So this is a really fun way to create an element that shows up on both sides of a page. So I actually just took my 12 by 12 piece of paper that I measured four inches across, folded it, and then when it was folded, went ahead and cut these angle pieces and punched it with a hole. Then I'm gonna add this card on top, and I went ahead and punched with a 5 8 inch punch this little circle and then I took the circle and also punched a hole in it, which now becomes a little reinforcer for that tag. I really love little tags and things sticking out the top of the albums. I think it makes it look interesting and inviting to come and, come and take a look inside. I like to make the tag a little bit more visible from the page before it. So I'm just gonna use this two inch circle punch to kind of invite you to look at the next page. As I was creating this book, I decided to put a piece of pattern paper on every other page. What it did was give more strength and stability to the book and also kind of a white side and a, and a more busy, colorful side and that just kind of became a really nice balance. When I put these tags on the pages, I want to make sure that they're staggering a little bit from the top of the book when you, when you look at it. In order to create a little bit of extra space, I'm creating kind of an interactive flap page. But before I actually glue it in, I wanna do some stamping here on the flap. Doing the stamping before I glue it into the book will make it a little bit easier and ensure that my stamping will be a little bit cleaner.
on this page I wanted to create like a little um, interactive piece that would have kind of a fun little pocket. And so I took the extra paper that we were, that I was adding on and just kind of cut it wide enough to fit this cute little wish list um, piece. And then just to kind of create a little bit of contrast, um, I'm gonna add this little folded over piece of paper that will kind of indicate that there's something there. Now on this next page, I wanted to create a little bit of variety. And so I went ahead and cut about an inch and a half off of the page itself, which kind of then leads you right into the next page. So then I cut a paper that had just a little bit of a flap. So the short flap would go on one side and the long flap would, would be the cover of the next page. Sometimes when I add cards onto a page, I like to kind of create a stopper or something that will hold it from flinging open when you're turning the page. So what I like to do is cut a little piece that will act as that very thing, as a little stopper. So what I have is just a little scrap of paper and I'm gonna fold it over about an inch or so. And I'm just gonna staple in about halfway from where that, where that fold is. And then what's gonna happen is I'm gonna glue here. So I'm in a position where I want the card. And we'll go ahead and stick, stick that guy down, kind of leaving up a little spot underneath. And then what happens is I kind of tuck the card underneath with the bottom part under the bottom of the card and then adhere it in place. And what it kind of creates is like almost like a little matchbook kind of um, kind of stopper. So that works really great to kind of keep it um, closed when you want it. So I want to use this We Wish You a uh, stamp, but I just wanted to say We Wish You and then I'm going to put the word joy underneath it. So in order to not stamp the A, I'm actually just going to use a little piece of scrap paper and align it so that the A stamps on my scrap paper instead of my project. All right, you guys, congratulations. You made it through like literally so many pages, but hopefully you saw like how easy it is to incorporate the stickers and the ephemera and the washi tape. And really what's just happened is that now you have this entire book that is ready for when the holidays roll around. And all you have to worry about is sticking the photos and writing down the stories. And then all of your little extra bits can kind of add in on top and it's just so much easier. If you start now to have an intention about what kind of holiday you're gonna have, then it's gonna be a lot easier to record the memories and document what happened. So I hope that you're gonna grab some Winter Wonderland and make some pretty holiday stuff. Hey, thanks for watching. 
If you like this video and you want to see more from scrapbook.com, please like, share, subscribe, and leave a message. Happiness is life handmade.